Hi friends and welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Can you believe we're at the end of August already? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. This year is just flying by, but before we get on with today's video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and this is my sweet Oliver. And if you're returning, you guys, we love you so much. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, DIY number one. So I took this 12 by 12 wood piece that I got from Woodpecker's Craft. I'm going to paint it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color sandstone. Then I took some wood pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint them with my Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. I also took some of my giant craft sticks from Walmart. I'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to go over them lightly with some antique wax. I'm just going to brush it on and use a baby wipe to wipe off the excess so that it's a light coverage. Then I took the jumbo ones or, or gigantic or giant. I can't remember which one is which, but the biggest ones. And I took two of them and I'm going to do a heavy coat of my Waverly antique wax on them because I wanted them to be a little darker. I did not wipe off the excess. Then I'm using my Tight Bond Quick and Thick Multi-Purpose Glue to glue all of those little pieces uh, together across the bottom part of my 12 by 12 wood piece. Then I'm going to take my pumpkins that are now apples. You guys, I could have sworn I had some wood apples from Dollar Tree in my stash and all I could find were pumpkins. So I made them into apples. And then I'm going to, um, as you can see, I glued them all there in place and I'm going to use my wood glue and hot glue to glue the larger craft sticks, one to the top of the little wood craft sticks and one to the bottom. So I'm kind of making like a barrel or a basket look kind of a thing. <laughs> That's what I'm going for. And then after I have that on there, I'm going to take some leaves. These just came off some flowers. I think the miniature roses from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to glue one by each of the stems there. And after that, I took some small twine and I'm just going to do some regular little shoelace bows, nothing special. And I'm going to trim down those tails and hot glue them right where the stem is. And then I took these small one inch letters from Hobby Lobby and I am laid them on my painter's tape to hold them in place. I'm taking my deco art burnt orange color. I love this color. I painted all those letters and then I forgot to hit record. So I just used my tight bond glue again, my quick and thick, and I glued all of those letters in place to read harvest blessings. Then I'm going to take my hot glue and some of this braided jute ribbon that I absolutely love. This is in my Amazon store. If you're interested in it, I think I'm going to have to buy me more, even though I just got some because I use this all the time, <laughs> but I'm going to make it look like a handle. So I'm just kind of hot gluing it all the way around. I kind of felt like it needed something more on the top, but I didn't want it to be too busy. And I just thought this was perfect. And then once I was done with that, I added a couple more little bows to the ends of those to kind of cover up the end of the ribbon there. And then I'm just going to staple on a hanger in the back. I use my measuring tape there just to make sure that um, I've got it uh, even. And there it is. I love how this came out. You have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. Okay, friends, real quick, you know, I just love to take this moment to thank all of you guys and let you know how much I truly appreciate all of you who return every week to watch my videos, who like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. You guys mean the world to me. If you are new here and this is your first time and you enjoy today's video, and if you like home decor on a budget, make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you go and become a part of our YouTube family as well. So with all that being said, let's continue on with the video. Okay, DIY number two. So I'm going to take this pumpkin cutout from Dollar Tree. Now I got this in 2022. So if you can't have find this, you can find any shape that's similar to this pumpkin shape or whatever from Dollar Tree. I removed that metal leaf and then I'm going to paint it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. I painted the leaf with moss. I did paint the stem and the base of it with Waverly's truffle. And once it was all done, I'm going to use my pencil here and I think I'm marking, I think it was about one and a half or one and three quarters 
inch wide. Uh, I'm just making little marks. And I'm gonna use my ruler here to make a straight line going down my apple. It's now an apple. It went from a pumpkin to an apple. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do this all the way across with each one of those hash marks that I made. Then I'm just gonna take my finger here and I'm just gonna smudge that lead to make it just look a little more realistic. And then I took a baby wipe and my Waverly Antique Wax. I'm gonna just do a little bit of shadowing all around the edges of my apple. And then I used my Cricut to create this um, stencil. I got this off of Cricut Design Space and I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the color, I think it's plaster. And I'm just using my stencil brush to pounce up and down. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you could definitely recreate this with a stencil, with rub-on transfers that you might be able to find, um, stickers, just make it your own and use what you have. So I'm gonna remove my stencil here. And then I'm just going to go through and remove all the little pieces inside of the letters here. And you like my hand there, that's my, my vinyl holder. <laughs> and then I got these little wood apples from Kathy Jo. She sent these to me and I thought these would be perfect. So I'm going to paint them. I laid them on my tape. You guys, I love this method because it just holds them in place and makes it so much easier. Once I had them all painted with my crimson color, I turned them over so that I could paint the bottom part. Then I realized, wait, I want some green and yellow ones too. So I used my Waverly chalk paints in the color Celery and Maze to paint some of these apples with those colors. Then I took these skewers. Now these come off of the, um, you know, the bamboo skewer, designer skewers. I don't know what they call them from Hobby Lobby. These had leaves on them. I also have some that have squares, or squirrels, not squares. But I got those skewers off of those so I'm just cutting off the tip part of it because that went into the hole the easiest and then I'm just going to use my tight bond quick and thick glue put a little bit in the hole I painted those little sticks with my truffle color and just stuck them inside and then I'm just gluing a little piece of my boxwood greenery for a leaf I just thought that was perfect and then I am going to glue them onto my little sign there right on the edge and I just thought, how fun is this to have some little apples going along the edge of this? And so I'm just going to glue all of them. And that's all I did for this. I just think it is so adorable. I had a viewer who's from Washington ask if I would do some apple DIYs. And I just loved that idea. So I hope you're enjoying this. Ooh, it looks like the leaf fell off that one. I'm going to have to go look. But anyways, you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, DIY number three. I am going to take three of the wood, not wood, but the long MDF signs from Dollar Tree, the ones that look like they're um, planks kind of thing. You'll see them in a minute. I'm going to connect them all together using my, I guess these are the giant craft sticks. And I used wood glue and hot glue to connect them. And then I'm just going to fill in the holes with my spackling. Then I'm going to use this humongous chalk couture transfer called apple orchard. Now because this is so big, I'm just going to fuzz it at um, about halfway at a time. I think I did a little less than half there, but I did the other side already. And um, I'm just fuzzing it. Now if you're not familiar with Chalk Couture, this is a self-adhesive transfer or stencil and we fuzz it the first time we use it that way it doesn't pull up any of the paint or stretch the transfer because it's so thick. Um, or it's so sticky and then it doesn't also pull up the paste. So that's why we fuzz it. So once I had the whole thing fuzzed, I made sure I'm trying to center it here and then I will smooth it all out once I have it like I want it. I'll smooth it all out on my board and then I'm going to use a combination of black velvet, uh, candy apple, um, some pesto and eucalyptus colors. Oh, and bark. So I used all of those paste. Um, if you're not familiar, again, we use chalk paste on this. Now I've heard of some people using chalk paint. I'm not sure how well that works. I would use paste or thicken up your paint if you're going to use paint. But I'm going to do, I, I can't remember what they call this, but where I do part of it and then I lift it 
so that and then I'll let, gently lay it down so that way the paste doesn't pull up because it starts drying the longer it's on there it's going to dry and if you wait too long and pull up your transfer then it will pull up your paste and not give you a very good image so here I am taking the pesto and the eucalyptus and I'm just going to mix those colors for the leaves as you can see right there and then I'm just going to continue on doing this. Now, you'll also see I go in when I was all done with this and I use a small paintbrush and I color in all the leaves and all the apples. I wanted it to look a little more like the picture that's on Chalk Couture for this transfer. Um, and I had a lot of fun doing it, but it was a lot of work and it took me forever. So <laughs> I'm not going to show you all of that. But again, if you think this looks cool or fun. I ha am a Chalk Couture designer. I do have a link in my description box for Chalk Couture or for my page on Chalk Couture. So you can definitely check that out. We do have a monthly subscription called uh, Chalk Couture Club or Club. I can't even think this morning. Anyways, um, that's $21.99 a month. You get an exclusive eight by 11 transfer with some three coordinating chalk paste and it's been coming with a surface as well. So if you'd like to join that and try it out, I think that's a good way to get your feet wet. You do, if you sign up for it, you do have to do at least three months uh, before you can cancel. But we also have another one called Employee Perks. No, Member Perks. Oh my goodness, what is it? Member Perks. Anyways, that is, uh, I believe it's $20 a month or is it $30 a month? Anyways, no, it's $30 a month. You get a $20 credit. Uh, that can go towards any purchase. I can't remember the monthly fee. Oh my goodness. But you get 30% off. That's where the 30 is coming from. You get 30% off of anything that you purchase. So that's a really fun one too. All of that information is on my Chalk Couture page. If you have questions about that or anything else of Chalk Couture, you can email me. I'd be happy to respond. Um, but just check out my page. You should be able to find a lot of that information right on there. So once I was done with the front, I took my uh, pencil there and measuring tape. I measured where I wanted to make my holes. And I'm using my big mouth crocodile to make some hanger holes. Took some twine, put some tape around the edge, strung it through, got it the size I wanted, added some knots on the back, and we have a hanger, and that's all I did for this one. It might seem really easy. It took forever because I did all of that painting. Um, it looked really nice even without it. So <laughs> if you do get this, which I would suggest be part of the members perks to get the 30% off because this is kind of an expensive one, but it was a lot of fun. I love it. You have to let me know what you think about it as well. Okay, celebration of your recreation. And look at Anita, she tried the uh, busted canvas. They are awesome, Anita, thank you. And then Kathy, oh, this is so adorable. You know, I love gingerbread. I'm gonna have to get you to do my painting. And then Debbie made these adorable pumpkins. Thank you so much, Debbie. And then look at this exploding canvas. Oh my word, can, can, or Constance, this was amazing. Thank you so much, ladies, for sharing. And if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Okay, DIY number four. So for this one, I took one of these wood apples that I received from Woodpecker Crafts and some of my little one inch letters from Hobby Lobby. I painted them all with my Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson. This is super easy, guys. I don't even think this is two minutes long. But anyways, I took this sign from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove the hanger and I'm just using my little pick to kind of get them up and then I use my stipple remover to get it all out of there. I removed my um, beads from the hanger. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the apples, put them on top of my painter's tape and go over them with my Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and then I turn them over and do the bottom side as well. Once they are all dry, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> I'm gonna put them back onto my hanger because none of you know how to do that. And I thought you needed to know how. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take my tight bond, quick and thick multi-purpose glue. I'm gonna add all my letters, it spells apples. I, when I was editing this, I thought I should have just said apple because there's only one apple there. <laughs> oh well. And then I'm gonna use that same glue to glue on my apple. Again, super easy, but I just think it's a fun little sign to put in your kitchen. 
or wherever. I just love it. Anyways, I'm just going to use my stapler to staple that hanger back on. And that's all there is. Super, super easy. Fun little decor piece. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I was having a lot of fun with these apple things. And I wish I would have had more apples because I had more ideas. But I ran out of apples and I didn't want to make any more pumpkin apples. <laughs> Anyways, you have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And then our final, I've had D five. See, I was having so much fun that I made five DIYs for you. So I'm going to take these two green apples came from um, Linda Smith. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm going to paint them with one with fern and one with maize. And then that 12 inch chunky slap from Dollar Tree and that other apples from Woodpecker Crafts. And I'm going to paint them all with my crimson as well. I'm going to... Um, hold it there for a little bit. I don't know why it took so long. But anyways, I took my Cricut again. Now again, if you don't have a Cricut, use stickers, um, rub on transfers, write if you have great writing. Uh, if you're artistic like Kathy, who can make some beautiful stuff. <laughs> um, but just use what you have. But I'm just I just printed this out that says flavors of fall. And I kind of wanted just a fun font. So that's what I used. I also took some apples from Cricut Design Space, printed those out, and then I created these words as well um, because these are different kinds of apple treats for the fall. I thought caramel apple and apple pie and apple cider, those are all things that I love in the fall. And so I just added one to each of the apples. I'm gonna use my Tight Bond glue again, and I'm going to glue those on top of my little chunky slat just like you see I didn't even use hot glue because the stuff really does set quickly and I love it so I'm just going to glue each one in place then I'm going to make some more shoe string bows with some twine and I'm just going to glue each one using my hot glue there to the bottom of the stem and that's all there was for this one too these were really easy but really fun I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope my subscriber who's in Washington got some ideas. I enjoyed this so much. And um, it was a nice change from doing pumpkins, right? <laughs> okay, the final reveal is coming right up. I will be back again on the first. Sorry, but I will be having lots of pumpkins on the first because that's the theme. Um, it's our first of the month challenge. I love this challenge as well. And it's going to be fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. And with all that being said, I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.